EJ here back with another video and uh, today it's going to be my Blu-ray DVD collection for 2020 and uh, documentaries. So uh, let's get started. But first uh, we have Amy from uh, 2015. Um, yeah, I was never really a fan of Amy Winehouse before I saw this, um, but I like uh, her type of music to begin with. Um, but when she sort of exploded onto the scene, I initially wasn't really into that type of music. And But uh, yeah, it sort of made me a fan of her uh, watching this because her, her voice and her music was great. If you could ever say uh, um, there was a star who got killed or crushed by the media, it might have been her, even though sort of the drinking definitely didn't help considering her body type. But yeah, it's a really great documentary. Up next we have uh, Bowling for Columbine from 2002, yeah, Michael Moore's film, of course, about uh, the Columbine shootings. Um, well, a film that was really ahead of its time, if you ask me now. Uh, I also have this on Criterion Collection. Up next we have a, another Michael Moore film, uh, Capitalism, a uh, love story from uh, 2009, of course, about the economy. Next we have uh, Dogtown and Z-Boys, a uh, special edition from uh, 2003, I believe. Yeah, about the uh, skating culture, skateboard culture in the uh, 1970s in L.A. Up next we have uh, another Michael Moore film, uh, Fahrenheit 9-11. Um, yeah, it really focuses on, uh, on George W. Bush and the aftermath of 9-11. And of course, I have Fahrenheit 11.9, again from Michael Moore, and this one focuses on Donald Trump and the aftermath of uh, his, uh, his election in 2016, um, and, and a lot to do with uh, Flint, Michigan, and the water crisis that went on there. Um, I'm sure he'll end up making a documentary about uh, coronavirus. Okay, up next we have Fire in Babylon uh, from uh, 2010. Really good uh, film about the uh, West Indian cricket team in the uh, uh, 60s and 70s when they burst onto the scene. Um, I grew up playing cricket in England and I watched a lot of cricket when I was younger. Um, and West Indies in my lifetime have always been a great team and, and a great sort of story and sort of the the emblem of international cricket, cricket, if you like, uh, is the West Indian uh, cricket team. Okay, up next we have uh, The Fog of War, a uh, terrific film about, uh, about uh, Robert S. Uh, McNamara, uh, Secretary of uh, like uh, State or Defense uh, for 20 odd years or whatever he was. Um, yeah, really good film about the history of America. Uh, in their foreign like military policy and over the over like the 70s through the through the 2000s that kind of stuff uh yeah really good documentary from 2003 <clears throat> up next we have uh this is just a little thing about Gollum that came with my uh two towers lord of the rings two towers uh special collector's edition that i got with the uh with my uh we came with a Gollum uh little statue that's right above me right now, above these uh, above these DVD shelves on top of them. Um, so not not technically really a uh, a documentary film, but there you go. Uh, up next we have uh, Horse of Darkness uh, from 1991, a film a filmmaker's apocalypse. Great documentary about the making of Apocalypse Now. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola's Vietnam epic from 1979, which I absolutely love. Okay, up next we have uh, I Am Heath Ledger from uh, 2017. Yeah, great. <coughs> Excuse me. A uh, really good documentary about, of course, the late great Heath Ledger. Involves a lot of uh, footage that the actor shot himself. Really sad, really. Um, yeah, he, he was a great talent and gone way too soon. Up next, we have An Inconvenient Truth in this uh, eco-friendly uh, packaging. Um, yeah, the uh, the film from 2006, um, sort of presented by Al Gore about uh, global warming. 
climate change, all that good stuff. Uh, next we have uh, Janice, uh, Little Girl Blue, special director's edition. Great documentary about uh, Janice Joplin, of course. Big fan of her um, and uh, Big Brother and the Holding Company. Um, yeah, good documentary from 2015. Another good documentary from uh, 20, uh, I won't say, yeah, 2014 or 15. Uh, Kurt Cobain, Montage of Heck. Of course, about uh, the late, great Kurt Cobain. I still remember the day he died in uh, 1994 um, when I was in high school. And uh, Nirvana and all that good stuff. I uh, was a big Nirvana fan back then. And obviously Kurt Cobain <laughs> tragically took his own life uh, way before his time. Alright guys, moving on. Up next we have uh, Life Itself. A uh, great documentary from 2014 about uh, uh, Roger Reeve, a great film critic for the uh, Chicago Sun-Times for many years. Uh, I loved watching his show Siskel and Ebert in the uh, light, late 90s and early 2000s, or most of the 2000s. Um, yeah, I was a big Roger Ebert fan. I read a lot of his reviews in print. I have I have uh, one of his books on, on all his reviews. Um, very sad what happened to him and and uh, the illness he developed and and all that. Um, he carried on through it, but he he was he was a great uh, great film critic and sort of one I based my own on. Um, okay, up next we have a uh, Man on Wire. A really good film uh, documentary uh, from 2008 about a uh, Frenchman who uh, who um, walked across the uh, the the, the uh, twin towers in New York at the uh, the World Trade Center. I also have the film uh, The Walk uh, with uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt um, on Blu-ray from I think like 2011. Another good movie about the same thing. Okay, up next we have uh, The March of the Penguins uh, from 2005. Great documentary about Antarctica and penguins, of course. Really the film that made penguins like a huge thing in the mid-2000s. Like, lots of movies about penguins <laughs> were made after this film. Up next we have Morley. A really great documentary about Bob Morley. Um, and uh, reggae music, of course, from 2012. Big Morley fan. Big fan of the music. Uh, ska and reggae is uh, two of my favorite music genres, and Marley was a huge influence on both. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, up next we have Murderball. Really good, uh, I think, Oscar winning documentary uh, from 2005 about uh, like wheelchair, wheelchair uh, basketball. Up next we have uh, One Night in Turin um, from 2010. Uh, yeah, great documentary about England and their uh, World Cup run in 1990 which is really one of my earliest sports memories growing up as a kid uh, I was heartbroken when England lost in the semi-final to uh, uh, West Germany at the time of course that's a picture of uh, Gaza uh, Paul Gascoigne on the front um, England one of England's best players at the time he got sent off in that semi-final um, and he cried like that because he would he would have missed the final if England had gotten there. Um, but yeah, moving on. Up next we have uh, PJ Twenty or Pearl Jam Twenty. Uh, great documentary about Pearl Jam. Um, if I had to name one band that's probably been my favorite in the last twenty years, Pearl Jam would might be top of that list. I'm a huge Pearl Jam fan and Eddie Vedder and everything that they do. Up next, we have uh, Senna, uh, another great sports documentary about Ayrton Senna, the great Brazilian Formula One driver who was dominant in the late 80s and early 90s. He was a big rival of Alain Prost, who was my favorite driver at that time when I lived in England. Formula One was like second to only uh, soccer, football. Um, in, in terms of popularity and I was a big Ferrari guy and I was a big Alain Prost fan and he was uh, Senna's big rival. Uh, Senna was really good and he died uh, tragically I think in like the mid-2000s in a, in a crash. Uh, but yeah, he was a great driver. 
Up next, we have another Michael Moore film, uh, Sicko, uh, from 2007. Good documentary about the uh, healthcare system, or the lack thereof in this country, at least. Up next, we have Side by Side um, from 2012, I think. Yeah, good film about movie making and um, film versus digital uh, with a host of interviews of directors and producers and that kind of stuff. Okay, up next, everything's falling over here. Uh, we have Stanley Kubrick, A Life in Pictures. This just came with my like Stanley Kubrick special editions that I have. But it's a really good documentary about Stanley Kubrick and, and the making of uh, some of his best known films. Um, narrated by Tom Cruise, who of course starred in uh, Eyes Wide Shut with uh, Nicole Kidman. Yeah, great, great documentary if you love uh, filmmaking. Up next we have uh, Super Size Me from uh, 2003 or 4 or something like that. Yeah, really good film by uh, Morgan Spurlock. Um, about a guy who eats McDonald's for like 30 days straight for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the effect it has on his body. Yeah, just a good movie about fast food and uh, food in general. Alright, up next we have These Amazing Shadows. Another great film about movies. Uh, the movies that made America PBS documentary from uh, 2011. Up next we have uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor. Yeah, great documentary from 2018 about uh, Mr. Rogers, of course. And then then uh, Tom Hanks went on to play him in uh, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Uh, yeah, two great companion pieces. This uh, great documentary about a very interesting guy and who had a fanta fantastic uh, world view uh, and especially of children and that shines in uh, in in this documentary and and the Tom Hanks movie and uh, last but not least uh, we have Woodstock three days of piece of music uh, two disc 40th anniversary edition uh, great film uh, from 1970 about about uh, the Woodstock uh, Festival from 1969, one of the um, seminal events in American music and culture of the last 50 years, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, you, you can see I love documentaries about music and sports uh, t and films, two of the th three of the things I'm most interested in. Uh, so that is my documentaries. Up next will be drama, which is my biggest section. So that's going to be four set, four videos, I think, because um, I, I did it in four videos last time I did this, and obviously it's grown since then. So thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see you.